Hi, Mark. It's Nick again from Burton. It's here in Whitewater. Here's the 2022 GMC Sierra 1500 SLT. Uh, it's a one owner pickup truck. This was actually owned by one of our drivers here at the dealership. Pretty much got the same thing, but brand new, a 2024 model. So this was his trade-in, locally owned right here in Whitewater. 25,000 miles on it. Never been in an accident. It was an older gentleman that owned it here. Tires are in good shape. No curb rash on any of the wheels. Here's a close-up of the tread. We do have pictures posted on our website, but this is the new body style, so things have changed. We got updated headlights, fog lights down here and grill. New on the inside, we have a bigger touch screen. It's a 12 inch diagonal screen. We'll have heated and ventilated seats up front, just like the AT4, both power adjustable with memory presets. Same all weather floor liners throughout it. Back seats are gonna stay the same. Uh, nothing's changed back here. Space is the same. Still get the storage inside the seats. No Kalahari accents, because it's not the AT4, but same storage. We do have the heated seat options back here too with some charging ports and power sliding window, just like the AT4. And running boards too. Still have multi-pro tailgates, spray and bed liner back here with LED lights in the corners, charging outlet. And then trailer hitch pin connectors we do not have park assist sensors on the front and rear bumper like we did on the at4 or blind spot in the mirrors um, but we do have the standard safety equipment like forward collision and then lane deviation too so power seat again Bose premium sound system memory presets right on the door we got our four-wheel drive and lighting control over here leather wrap wheel that's also heated New is also this digital cluster, so that's new uh, instead of the analog gauge that we got before. Configurable with different layouts on it. Uh, again, bigger touchscreen, bigger backup camera screen on it too. Got Google built-in navigation, gotta have Wi-Fi in the vehicle for that to operate. Otherwise, there is wireless CarPlay for Apple and Android. Dual zone climate, push button start, remote start. And then the new shifter, which is no longer on the column of the wheel. It's going to be right here. Pretty neat. Wireless phone charging pad is in a better location with some charging ports in there. Auto dimming rear view mirror and your garage door presets up top. So that is a wrap for the truck here. Thanks for watching.